Sturbridge family devastated tonight after a crash that killed a mother and her nine-month-old son. And that stretch of road in Oxford where the crash occurred has long been a problem in that area, and officials now plan to deal with that. Jim Armstrong has our top story. He is live in Oxford. Jim? Locally here, this stretch of road is pretty much notorious. About 30 accidents at least right here since 2003. And tonight, another family joins in the call to do something about it. As investigators scrutinize the scene, a family remains stunned. It's just horrible. I wouldn't, wouldn't want anybody to have to go through that. It's, it's just awful. 31-year-old Christina Russin was killed here Monday morning on Route 20 in Oxford. Her nine-month-old baby, Noah, died at the hospital a short time later. That's a help, is that uh, she died instantly. And, um, you know, she's up there with Noah. So Noah's with his mom. Two-year-old Carter alone survived that terrible crash that happened when witnesses say Russin swerved into oncoming traffic. She lost control, like the car goes side to side and try to, she tried to gain control of the car. But she couldn't before a concrete truck plowed into her, sending her car into Robespierre Lafleur's SUV. Yeah, it's hard to think about it again, over and over again. You can't assume she was on the phone, she was distracted. Uh, you know, it's it's a bad corner. Accidents happen. No one knows that better than Lisa Brodeur. 18 years ago, we were victims of this highway. On this exact same spot, she became a widow. Her son paralyzed for life when someone else crossed the center line. She returned here Tuesday as part of her crusade to, at the very least, get Jersey barriers placed here. No family should suffer the way our family has, and now this new family. And tonight we have confirmed that the State Department of Transportation is planning to hold a special meeting this Thursday to begin the process of figuring out what exactly should be done on this stretch of Route 20. Live in Oxford tonight, Jim Armstrong, WBZ News. We're also